This is the Chiapa Fuzz 6004 match grade recoilless air pistol. No, nope, no idea what Fuzz means, but I'm going to show you all about the pistol. It's a 10 meter air pistol. Delete that, do it once more. Giles, you've just screwed that up. Start that one off again iPads are fantastic things. They're going to get me out of a lot of trouble right now because I've no idea who Chiapa Firearms are. So I'm just reading their about page. And let me tell you that they started around 60 years ago in 1958 and they were originally called Army Sport. And they are manufacturers of shotguns, rifles, air pistols and all sorts of conversion kits. That is your basic history of Chiapa Firearms. Chiapa. Chiapa. Chapa. Sounds kind of like chipolata, but let's try and behave yourself, Giles. It is Chapa. And this is the Chapa 6004 FAS. I've no idea what FAS stands for. I haven't got a clue. Fire at something. There you go. Fire at something. Funky R shooter. Uh, I think that's about as far as I can go with that for a minute. This is a 10 meter target pistol. As you'll see in a minute, you can shoot other things with it as well, but it, it, it is designed as a 10 meter target pistol. It's beautifully designed. It's an all metal finish with a lovely walnut grip. Now, what you've got is a single stroke pneumatic pistol. And what you do is you break the top open, that charges the pneumatic piston inside, you pop your pellet in and you push it back down and the pistol is charged. No safety on this one because it is a true target pistol. And once that pellet is in there and it's charged and you pull that trigger, you will realize that you get zero recoil with this pistol because it has that pneumatic piston inside. And that really is important for competition shooting. It is also incredibly noticeable when you're used to shooting your clunky air pistols and then you realize just how smooth this is. So all metal construction along with this huge walnut grip at the back. And you do get different variations of smaller grips and bigger grips. I've gone for the biggest grip. And on that biggest grip, it means that you can basically make changes to it. You can chamfer bits off if it doesn't quite fit your little puddies. But beware, if you chamfer bits off, you can't put it back on. So I'm not overly advising you do it. But if you wanted to really tailor make it to yourself, you could. So you've got that gorgeous grip, fantastic, real, real match grade trigger. And that means it's totally adjustable in many ways, including moving it forward and back within the trigger guard and seating position so you can get it exactly as you want it. On the top, you've got sights at the back, which are adjustable for windage and elevation. And you've got your fixed front sight at the front, which they're all black. So it kind of needs something a little bit to help that stand out. But either way, that is the 6004 Fuzz air pistol. I'm going to stop talking now. Should we just take it outside? Let's do accuracy first, and there are those of you out there that will be horrified that I'm shooting this off a rest. The only reason I'm doing that is because I'm trying to test the pellets and get the best accuracy from the pistol. And I gotta say, I surprised myself. I spent a load of money on JSB flathead match grade pellets, and actually the best ones that worked for me were the JSB or FX 8.44177 pellets, which makes no sense at all whatsoever. They're 4.52s, but that's what happened. When I started to shoot standing, again, my groups were far better with the 8.44 pellets. In fact, I've got three under a centimeter in that group. The rest, yeah, it's all over there a little bit. But I tell you what, 
there are those of you out there that are pinging things like me at 100 yards through a scope and going, oh, look what I can do. This is hard. This, this is not easy. So if you want to shoot and show what good a shot you are, then, you know, you want to give this a go. Because i got to say, three like that at 10 metres, I'm very impressed with. Just a little caveat for the video. I am not the best pistol shot in the world. Missed. So those of you out there that are like, yeah, can you do better than that? Well, get on, make a video, put it out there and show everyone. The gun is way more capable than I am. Missed. But yeah, I, if you don't like my groups, make your own video. Now I'm not a professional 10 meter shooter in any way. Missed. But I would say that this is an incredibly well balanced pistol and it's so simple to operate. Missed. And that trigger really is sublime. And as for opening and closing this top part and pushing it down once you've charged it, I think any sort of teenager, 13, 14 years old, would be able to do that. So it's ideal as a club gun and it's definitely ideal as a something that you can use for training. Mm. 291. Yeah. 249. Mm. 302. Oh. 313. So that was 313. So we're ranging from around sort of 250 feet per second up to 310 feet per second, depending on what pellet you go for. The weird thing is, the fastest pellet, which is the ASG, isn't necessarily the most accurate pellet, which is the 8.44 FX. So who knows? If you get one of these, you've got to expect that you've got to spend a lot of time getting your speeds right and choosing the right pellet that you're happy with. Is it a high-powered gun? No. I mean, my I'm getting about 1.7 foot-pounds out of that which is pretty low but then again it is a target pistol you've got to remember it's a target pistol just out of interest i'm just gonna use the lightest pellet with my Virarc hw40 which is actually my little pest gun around the house and it's half the price of the faz but i just want to see how the power compares so that's 366, which is 2.4 foot pounds. So, ashamedly, <laughs> I'm going to tell you that this is twice the price of that one, and this one's more powerful. Let's carry on with the video. Missed. Got him. Missed. Missed again. I gotta be honest, the target is big enough for me to hit. I'm obviously just not that good a shot. Missed again. I, I appear to not be able to hit a metal target at 10 yards. I'm gonna just try something a little bit bigger. I got a tin of bolognese and I'm going to try and hit it with my chiappa. Let's try that. It's a little bit bigger. As you can tell, I should be in the Olympics. Oh, yes. Anyone shooting against me is going to win. I still miss the tin. Do you know what? With the best respect in the world to all you single-handed shooters out there, I'm going to double grip the gun. I hit it. I actually hit it. Yeah! Ding! Got that one. Touched it. I touched it. I did. I touched it. I don't think it's got enough oomph to actually make the spinner spin, but at least I touched it. So what are my final thoughts? <laughs> Believe me, I've recorded this about 15 times. What are my final thoughts on my 6004 fire at something jumper? 
uh, if you're an Olympic target shooter or a 10 meter shooter or you're getting into the sport and stuff like that, I'm sure this is going to rock your world. I have to separate it and say that I'm a big boy that likes a gadget and it doesn't do garden plinking for me at all. And while the paper target punching side is fantastic and I get that entirely, I think that I would like to get further into that aspect of the sport, but I wish I had put my 400 quid into one that had got a pre-charged cylinder on it, like the Zazdar, gotta love that name, or the more expensive ones. It's nice, it's lovely, it's well balanced, it's beautiful, and I know there's people out there that absolutely love them, um, but unfortunately it's not for me. But if you're after a club gun, a training gun, or something like that, then these are gonna be absolutely ideal but you've got to be mindful that there just isn't any power there as far as I'm concerned. And that's it. The Faz by Chapa. And I still don't know what Faz means. <laughs>